You never think things are going to happen right. So this boat is made by Tartan Marine Company. And it is so freaking cool. Check it out. He didn't ever, he never showed, I never saw a video where you show the boat off. I made more than one video of me showing off. Oh, uh, well I didn't watch it. <laughs> so now I'm making one. That's where all the stuff is down there. It's little, you know? And then uh, he's got like batteries and little sleeping apartments and cool cabinets with all kinds of stuff. His sink and stuff. And then here's the outside. That's where you steer the boat. Oh, you got a big compass. It looks so smart. He's got all this. He's got this. Uh, oh, look at this. It's a big wheel like a yacht. I love it. And you got a little thing on the back where you can feed the sharks. <laughs> nice awning so you don't get sun too much. And then, oh, it's got sails. Wow. Like a sailboat. Do not watch your feet. Your feet. Watch your footing. Why is that? Because you trip and fall and hurt yourself. You're not careful. Oh, you that's not a good idea. Well, there's a lot of stuff on the deck to trip. Okay. And then there's a dinghy up front. Is that a big, long, tall thing? Wow, that's tall. How tall is your main um, mast? 54. My bridge climber. I, I can fit under a 54 foot bridge. Wow. So freaking cool. <laughs> like, you're numb to it. This is the coolest I, thing ever. You know what? It is cool, and I'm not numb to it. I'm just too tired of working on it. No, it's so cool. What year was this boat built? 1979. 1979? It's almost as old as me. Good lord. I'd be afraid to go anywhere in a boat as old as me. No wonder you're having problems. Yeah, she's a good boat though. There's Bill on his boat. It's so super cool. Living the dream. Uh-huh. Got his uh, thing up there talking to space. All right, I'm gonna have to talk him down now. The poor guy's been on his own, working on his boat for months and months. He's trapped at port. He's got a part, it seems critical, and he doesn't know if it's gonna come, it's all gonna work out. Bill, we got this. Oh, you're so close. The weather started getting rough. The tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the Wait fearless the crew, the minnow sure would to see be lost. The, the minnow would be lost. Oh God, I'm sure I'll be scared. And then here's the marina. Check it out. We got neighbors. They got boats too. Pretty good. Pretty cool. Over there, that's where there's probably human bathrooms. You know? And then all these boats are just tucked away. Are there a lot of people living on their boats? I don't think so. These folks right here live on their still farm. Look at all these but boats. I think most of the people here are just weekend recreation. I don't think there's a lot of boats. Do all the captains like go to the bar at night and brag about whose mast is taller and stuff? <laughs> uh, like, yeah, my mask is. Really taking a survey of I got the wide mask. I don't know. I'll, I'll think of some funny things later when I'm not recording. So cool. Like, I mean, check it out. They're boats. I've never been on boats except for like stupid tourist boats. This is like a real boat for boating. <laughs> Do you have any last minute things to say? Because I'm going to shut this off. No? Are we going to post it on your channel or my channel or both? Do whatever you want. Yay! All right. We're going to. Um, Make sure everything is stowed for night time and then like hang out and relax, chill. So, say bye. Bye. Goodbye, well, internet. See you next time. All right, now I'll proceed with said list. Oh, for crying out loud, look at you with your camera. Here we are in Fort Pierce and we are embarking on. Seaworthy arising, <laughs> Brother Bill's. Call it what you want. He's got a list. He's going to inform me of the list of things that need to be uh, updated so we can go to. Because he said I might not get to go in the, uh, out of port unless all this stuff gets done. So he made me a list. No, it's only, the only thing that needs to be done 
is the starter circuit. Okay, show the circuit. show the part. That ain't no special boat part. That's a regular old 12 volt starter relay. Yeah, well, I didn't know. That. <laughs> That's okay. Now you have me. So the other things that I would like to get done with varying levels of importance, like there's a coolant leak. I consider that one important. So that yeah, got I agree. Done before I go any long distances. Yeah. The dinghy. The company I bought the dinghy from does not have hooks on it to hang it off the back of the boat like it's like 90% of the people who have dinghies do. No idea why you would sell a dinghy that doesn't have. So I have to buy parts and modify the dinghy so I can hang it off the back of the boat so it doesn't have to be on the front all the time. Okay. Um, His dinghy's in the way. Hey, I know how to hide a dinghy. Okay, go ahead, keep going. Um, I'm a pro. The dinghy was leaking. I fixed that yesterday. Yay! So that Take it off the list. Yeah. Check that shit down. Fixed. Oh, like, documents are so terrible. Yeah, nobody um, likes a leaky dinghy. <laughs> minor, but annoying as hell. The battery monitor does not accurately tell me how much juice is in my battery. Oh, is there some calibration thing that you need I to do? I have no idea. Oh, okay. I haven't been able to figure out why it's doing it wrong. Okay. It's like the math does not add up. There's no possible. It tells me I'm down to 50% battery overnight. I would have to have three refrigerators all running 100% of the time all night to take that much power out of the batteries. So it doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, I am not happy with the water coming out of the tanks. I think I need to drain the tanks and clean them because I think it's got a little bit of stuff growing in them. So, Ickiness. Yeah. I Icky really, in the fresh water. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm I'm down for up yeah. I'm down for scrubbing. <laughs> for making sure the tanks are not filled with ick. Um, I need to get some way to seriously and like securely lock the dinghy when I am not with it so I can take it ashore, lock it somewhere and then go places. Okay. Because like it's fine, you can drive go wherever you want the dinghy, but you're afraid to You don't want to leave it because yeah, somebody will take it. It'll be gone. All right. Um, that one is you know, well, I mean that one prevents me from leaving the boat, so let's okay. figure out how important it is. Come on, fun. Um the hatch over the V berth leaks when it rains really hard. There's a gasket. I need a new gasket. The gasket is just wore out. Okay. So I just need to. The hardest part of that is I need to take it apart to find out what the size of the gasket is to order a replacement. But okay. Once the gasket's out, now it leaks even worse. So, <laughs> so I have to figure out how to do that because then I'm going to have. Right, because it rains every day. So it's not well, like you can the take... The best way to do it is take the dinghy off, take the gasket out, and then put the dinghy back on because the dinghy kind of shelters it now. I see, yeah. But either way, that's... Okay, cover cover the hole with the dinghy. Yeah, but the next one is, is the engine starting. Um, yeah. Another one is, is I've had trouble with my radio, and I don't know why because it seems to work, and then it doesn't seem to work when I need it, so I don't know what's going on, but I just want to know that my radio is reliable because it's kind of important because I tell everybody to your case. Yeah, I think radio. And then the last one is, is the RPM gauge for the engine. After all the work and changes I made in the engine, it doesn't work. It doesn't show RPMs anymore. And it's not a huge deal, but it would be nice to know how hard I'm pushing the engine when I'm going places. It, yeah. Well, so, it must be like a broken wire or disconnected in some way, huh? I um, don't know. As far as I know, I got all the wires hooked up. Um, my suspicion is that the old that alternator ran off of the. Um, that RPM gauge ran off the old alternator. Oh, you put a new alternator in. a new high-tech computerized alternator in it. It has a plug that's allegedly supposed to work on uh, an RPM gauge. Ah, uh, it worked before, it, does, it hasn't worked since. So I don't know if it's just that incompatible. We'll that have to look it up. enough that it's incompatible or what. But okay. And, and those are one, that's one of the ones that's kind of a low priority that doesn't really... Right, it doesn't prevent us from using the boat, but it's uncomfortable going anywhere long distance without it. Yeah. Okay. And luckily all the other gauges work, so if like, the engine's overheating or something, I know about that, but it's still... Uh, if, you don't, if you don't work with boats, you don't really know this, but like a lot of like the advice and the teachings they give you reference the engine RPM. Like they tell you, don't cruise. Like this is the cruising RPM for this particular motor. If when you're anchoring, you should back down on the anchor at this many RPMs and all these sort of things. So like they they tell because that's a more reliable uh, 
it's a more reliable way of knowing how hard you're pushing the boat than speed. Yeah. Because you'd be going, like, oh, we're only going two knots. Well, that's because you're going against four knots of current or something, you know. I yeah, I get it. So so you kind of so it's it's it, you feel a little bit like you're missing something when you don't have the RPM gauge. So yeah. it's not the end of the world, but it does it's it's important. Yeah. Um, and those are the ones that I've got listed as like need to have done before the end of the summer before I leave this dock to head for the, the keys. Um, obviously, like the some of them are more important than the other. Like obviously, we can't go anywhere until the engine starts. I really don't want to run the engine too much until we have the coolant leak figured out in case you know because I don't want to damage the engine by getting overheated or something. Yeah. But a lot of those other ones, like the, the leak in the front, not only does having the dinghy on top of it protect it, but it only leaks if it rains really hard because the way it is is the the, the gasket sits on a raised section. So the only time it leaks is it has to rain hard enough that the water pools up on the deck. So like a regular ordinary rainstorm, it doesn't leak. It only is when you get like a massive storm does it leak. Okay. So it's not a huge deal, but like I'm not going anywhere. Right, but it sucks having water all the time. Yeah, because it's on a bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. What a wonderful way to make make it wake up in the night, water dripping on you. Yeah, you know, and then you put a bunch of pans out to catch it, and then you're trying to figure out where you're going to sleep, because there's pans oh. all over the <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we'll make this work. But like I said, the engine and the coolant are the big ones. Most of the other stuff is kind of, you know, like, again, before I go on a longer trip, yes, but for the most part, it's not really stopping me from going on the weekend trips and stuff. All you need was a little sister to come here and uh, kick you in the ass and be like, take me on a boat ride. I don't know, I think mostly I needed a break from it after working on it for two years. Yeah. And then realizing that no matter how hard I worked, I still wasn't going to be able to go anywhere until fall. I'm sorry. You know what? It's it's one of those things that it's really, really frustrating when it happens. But when you look at all the stuff involved in doing everything that I had to do, delays. Everybody I've talked to, everybody I know, they always hit delays. The yeah. fact that I'm only... Well, at this point... I'm two years behind schedule where I thought I was going to be. I thought I was going to be leaving this dock a year and a half ago. So by the time I finally leave, it'll be two years behind.